Good morning. I think it's working. Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you. Nice to have your company. I'm early to the party again, just to make sure that everything's on track here, that the volume is right, the volume is switched on, the cameras are working, you're in the building. That's the most important thing. Ready for our doodle session. Good morning. Nice to have your company. Is anybody here? Let's have a look. Is everything all right? Maybe somebody could just text me and let me know. Oh, here they come. Good morning, Jilly, first in the building. Hi, hi, hi. Nice to see you all. Good to have your company. What a lovely sunny day it is today where we are. So here we are in Crowborough near the south coast of England um, in a county called East Sussex. And where are you? Where are you? Come on in, grab a seat. Plenty of room for everybody. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, where are you hanging out? Where are you staying safe, happy and creative? Where's your shack? Hmm? Uh, yeah, it's all good here. All good here. Just want to make sure that the cameras are working. So this one's working. All right. I've got this little monkey that I have to sit and stare at. He's sitting on top of the camera and he makes, he makes, he, otherwise I'll, you're always looking at the camera, which is wrong. Look, if I'm looking here, that's rubbish. So if I look up there, then I'm looking at you, you good people coming in. How's your doodling going? <gasps> Did you see? I mean, you really, you know, you say, oh, it's too hard and the hot air balloon eluded me. And then I see the artwork that's posted on Clarity Worldwide. Golly, golly, you know. Um, much as I say, this is not a competition and it's not about what we doodle, really. It's about that we doodle, isn't it? Much as I say that, and it's the truth, I can't help admiring your beautiful artwork. It would be weird if I didn't. And what I love is how are we crafters, we didn't know we could draw like this, did we? Mm, interesting. But my fear is, if there is such a thing around doodling, my, my reservations are that perhaps some people will look at where we're headed with our, with our elaborate doodles and say, mm, this is too complicated for me. And so today I thought we'd wind it back. Good morning, come on in. I thought we'd wind it back a little bit. And we'll have, if you like, we'll get right back to the essence of doodling today, the essence of it. And we're not doing anything really that we haven't done for three weeks nearly now. Do you know it's nearly three weeks since we started hanging out in the shack shack together? Three weeks. Mm. What's the time? How are we doing? 9.58. Come on in. Get your tea and let's get going. Beautiful sunny day today. Strange, isn't it? Um, I'm quite happy here though, in my, in my little shack, you know? I think I, what I'm finding out about myself is that I'm quite a hermit anyway, because I don't drink and I don't party. I did, trust me, <laughs> did I? But at some point I decided that it wasn't going well and so I knocked it on the head. And let's face it, you can't have children. It's not easy, is it, to have kids and party at the same time. So I think Grace and Mark pretty much put the kibosh on my partying days. Um, and and so, so I don't drink I don't, and I don't party. And so you don't really, we don't have that much of a social life. We seem to work more than anything. And so, so being at home and... Um, a bit reclusive almost, is, is my, my favourite thing to do. It's my default. You know, I quite like my own company. Um, and people that think that I'm outgoing and, you know, mm. I fake it to make it, you know, because I think it is, isn't it? It's socially acceptable to be outgoing and gregarious, but that isn't necessarily my, my stance, my natural stance. But I do, I do love your company and I like that we all get together and I love that you're in your shack and we're all getting together and we've got this, this in common, haven't we? This creative, we know that when we get out of our heads and we get with our hands, we can chillax. And there's something very special about that, isn't there? I'm waffling, I know. Is it 10 o'clock yet? Yes, it is. It's bang on 10 o'clock. 
it's okay to talk, you know, it's okay to talk. I talk to myself a lot, do you? <laughs> so let's have a look. We're all here. Good morning, guys. Come on in, grab a seat, get your tea, get your coffee, and then we're going to get cracking. So after yesterday, if you're new to the fold, welcome, welcome. We're in the shack, safe, happy and creative, stay home and craft. And that's what we do every morning at 10 o'clock, Monday to Friday, we hang out together and we doodle for a half hour. So it seems to be stretching to an hour most days now, but you know what, where are we going? And if you don't doodle live with us, you know, some people just like to watch and listen to the banter and then, um, and then they pick up their pens later on in the afternoon and that's fine too. Just lovely to have your company, whichever you prefer to do. Sit back and listen and watch or roll your sleeves up and get involved. It's either way is great, isn't it? It's what's called a distraction. So today, what I thought we'd do, are we ready to, are we ready to get started? Let's have a look. Good morning, everybody. Come on in, join the party. I want to show you, and before you see this, don't think that just because it's elaborate or it's intricate that it's difficult, because it so isn't. The most difficult thing is drawing the heart. Oh, no, not another heart. Yeah, another heart. Because <laughs> do you remember we did the heart? Just to get it in perspective, shall we? Let's have a look at number two. So we did the heart, didn't we, with the hot air balloon yesterday, up, up and away. Some of these artworks that you posted were absolutely glorious. So we did a heart, yeah? We did patterns. We've been doing patterns, 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 loads of different doodles. So what we're going to do today and tomorrow, this is a two-day project, we're going to draw a heart. And when you look at this, it looks so busy. I spent a couple of hours on this last night. It's not finished yet either because I haven't drawn in the shadow yet, you see. Because in a minute, I'm going to, when I, there's still some white gaps, I'm going to completely fill it with patterns. But then, you see, I'm going to decide... So this, this pattern here, this doodle's on top, so then I'm going to put the shading in. And when we put the shading in, that's when we'll, it will look like these amazing ribbons of patterns all underneath. But patterns first, shading next. Let's have a look tighter. Let's have a look closer at the patterns. And then as you have a little gander, you'll see. Let me move that out of the way a moment. As you look at it, you'll see you'll be familiar with quite a few of them. Let's have a look right now. So let me get my pencil and let's just have a little peep at what we're doing. So we've got the heart. Now look at the outside of the heart. This was that pattern that you really liked. Now look at this one, the netting. That was the one we did yesterday, but it's just on a smaller scale. Look, do you remember yesterday we did that one? No different, just using the ruler, but doing twice as many, right? Down it comes. Then let's have a look at this one. There's the basket weave that drove a lot of you potty. <laughs> hey, and then there's this one here that was on the hot air balloon. Do you recognize that one? That's a, a tamer version of the one that's in the hot air balloon. Look, you see? Then if you look a bit further, hey, check this one out. You see that one there? Do you recognize it? Do you recognize it? That was the one that was in the, um, the bird table. Do you remember the roof of the bird table? That was that one. There are a couple of new ones. There's the parky floor, which is my old go-to. Where's the parky floor? I like that one. That one there, see? I like that. That's easy. That's always my go-to tangle. Uh, now this one here, I have to tell you, that one, that one nearly drove me potty last night and I was still struggling with it half an hour ago. So we may not bother with that, you know, if, if it's too complicated, then don't stress over it. It's not an exam. You don't pass or fail. The whole object of the exercise is to draw a heart, write a, a word inside, and we, hey, this isn't new to us either. Look, where's me happy? Do you remember last Friday? Let's have a look. I know I've got it here. I'm just, let's have a look. Do you remember we just wrote happy and then we drew around it? That was very popular, that one. There, see? So it's the same thing. We're just going to write a word. You pick a word, have a think about it. I pick love. 
you could pick NHS. NHS would be lovely in big capital letters. Um, what about Tom? What about that gentleman that's raised all those millions of pounds? We could send him a, a hundredth, couldn't we? Tom, 100. Isn't that lovely? What a wow. You know, and for all those elderly people that think that they're, they're on the scrap heap, what a... I mean, what an achievement and what an, what an unexpected achievement. I mean, just fantastic, huh? Up, uplifting, very uplifting. So, um, so what we're going to do is draw a heart. Should we get going? Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Now, do we think that this is doable? Hands up, those of you who think that we can nail this one. Who thinks that we can do this? Come on, hands up. Let's have a show of hands. Yes. I know we can because I've already done it. I did it yesterday. And when we put the shadow in, it will be absolutely glorious. It's when we put the, the shading in. But first of all, let's do the patterns. And like everything else we've done, what we're going to do is break it down one step at a time. Yeah, it's all about one step at a time. But this is actually going to be very relaxing. Once we get the heart and the word in, that's the worst bit. So are you ready? Are you ready? Have you got a bit of copy paper? Let's take a piece of new copy paper. I'll start with a fresh piece. Have you got a pencil? I think we'll go in pencil to get the heart shape. Hmm? Should we do the heart shape? Oh, it's digging in. Microphone, it's digging in. Right, so we've got the heart shape and then we're going to put the word in. Have you decided on a word yet? What do we want to put? Do you want to put a name in? You could put, your, put somebody's name in. Get ready. You could... Use what I've used, love, NHS, hope, hope is a good one, Tom, the gentleman, whatever you want it to say, okay? Right, so for heart first, so we're going to do quite a big heart. If you look at the size of it, otherwise, look, it's, it fills my hand, check it out. So it fills my hand, it's a big heart. The bigger the heart, the bigger the doodles, the bigger the doodles, the easier. The smaller the heart, the smaller the doodles. The smaller the doodles, the harder. So we're going to go with a big, bold heart. It doesn't even have to be a perfect one. It can be a real zany, funky one. It has no bearing on, on this job at all. So I'm going to put my hand there so I, can, I know exactly where I'm going. I'm going to go lightly. So let's have a look. I'm going to go, we get the thumb out of the way. Right, and then I'm going to go like that. I think I might... Oh, all hail to the rubber. Right, get the, get the rubber out. Because this is important, because this is going to be the whole, the whole gig, isn't it? So I might just change it a little bit. There you go. Right, you've got your heart in. That'll do. I might bring that around a bit more. See you all? That'll do. Good enough. Is that big enough? Right, I'm going to go, and then I'm going to go around the outside round the outside to make the, the a frame. So it's going to be a little bit bigger than this. Round we go. Round we go. One step at a time, look. Little section, come up, go back over that section, keep going. We're getting good at this now, aren't we? Round we go. Okay. Keep turning the paper. I find turning the paper helps. Doodle. I'm trying to keep this equidistant, but do you know what? If we don't, if it goes all woo wah funky, that's fine. It's a doodle. Just remember, there are no experts in this building. I did this yesterday evening. I figured this out. So it's not like I've got a book and I'm referring. Right, there you go. Bit wobbly, don't matter. There we go. Right, you got your heart. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Hilda. Good morning, Helen. Nice to see you all. Lovely sunny day here. Israel. Is that your surname or are you actually in Israel, Hannah? Wow. Are you actually? I don't know. That's, that's amazing. Israel. Golly. Welcome. So we've got our heart. Are we, are we happy with the heart? It's a bit of a fatty, but it's all right. Okay, and now I'm going to put my word in. I use love. What do you fancy? Don't make it too fat. Make it, make it 
a little bit you want to see have a look see what you think right what shall I use I'm going to I'm going to write uh, could do whatever you fancy really uh, I should have thought about this beforehand what are you going to write give us a clue give us a clue I think I'll go with Dave I'm going to write Dave I love Dave right Dave and, and I'll just do the outside first look just a little just to make sure I've, I've got the right spacing so I'm going to make a big V like that I think I need to move him over a bit so if that's the E, like Dave needs to come over a bit. This is the worst bit, really. Well, not worst. The most challenging bit is the lettering, isn't it? Let's get him in there like that. Right. OK, so I'm going to put D, D for Dave over a bit. Right, so I'm going to pop Dave in there like that. Right, OK. Needs a capital letter because it's a, a name. And then I think, how are you doing? You got yours in yet? Barbara. Right, Dave. That'll do. The V needs to come over a bit. Just, it's all about the spacing. And the E, might as well rub that out at the same time. So that was a complete botch, actually, then, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. D, A, V. What are you writing? Are you writing somebody's name or are you writing a meaningful, lovely word? Right, let's get the E in now. Do the same thing again, Greg. We've only got an hour. Right, that'll do. So we're going to get that V in there like that. Right, that'll do. And then the E, nice E, nice boxy, like so. And then the A is going to have a nice big hole in it. And the D, because then, yeah, that looks quite good. I'm happy with that. So once you've got it in place, you see, because it's all in pencil, you can always change it, can't you? Right, okay, so once you've, you're happy with your letter, your let your words, actually, do you know what? I'm going to get a bit funky with the, with the V, because I think the V could do with being a little bit more taller. More, more taller, what is that? If, if that's English, I despair. Could do with being a little taller. Right, that's going to be better. Look, do have a eh. Right, Dave. Nice. There you go. Sorted. I'm happy with that. See? I've got me Dave in. What about you? What have you got? Right, so there it is. Nice. And now, what, what have you written? Give us a clue. What are you saying? Everybody happy? Love this doodle. I like to see that. I like to see that people love this doodle. And um, as I say, this is the this is the only challenging part really is to just get the shape in to then do the infill. So let's once you've got your heart. Have you caught up yet? Or are you waiting? You're drumming your fingers on your second cup of tea. Got your heart. Got the outline. And have you got a word? What words have we got? Give us a clue. What are we saying? Thanks. NHS, joy, Tom, hope, love. If, you, if it's Elizabeth, I recommend Liz. And if it's Benjamin, I would go with Ben. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pen, I'm going to ink this in now. Are you ready to ink with me? Right, here we go. So we're going to ink in. I'm going to put my word in. I'm using the, the number one pen to do the, the, the word. There we go. And I'll come on this one so then I don't have to worry about my head being in the way, you see. So you just make the artwork come to you. And let's just get the letter in first. There you go. Letters in first. Cool, I've got to tell you what happened this morning. So, as you know, or maybe you don't know, I'm my little shack shack that I work in here is above the garage. And 
The garage is not attached to the house. It's quite a way away from the house. So this morning, I get up and I do my, you know, my thing. I make my bed and get my makeup on and get my nice new jumper on and la li la li la And then I have my yoghurt. <laughs> Always got to have my yoghurt. So I had my yoghurt. And then I thought, right, now I'm going into the shack shack and I'm going to I'm gonna sort that doodle out that eluded me yesterday. And, and then I shut the door, the kitchen door. And as I shut it, as I shut it, I went, oh, keys! And then the door shut and I thought, oh. okay, so here I am, right, caught between a rock and a hard spot. Kitchen door's locked. Shack shack's locked. You say, well, why don't you just, where's Dave? Well, Dave's at the office, 40 minutes away, repairing a machine. Mm -hmm. And, oh, well, let's ring someone. Well, let's not, because the phone's in the kitchen next to the keys. Mm. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, there you go. That woke me up. And then I, I sat there. Right, let's keep going. So I stood there. I didn't sit there. There's nowhere to sit. So I sat, I stood there and I thought, now what? And I could see <laughs> my doodle session going right down the swanee today. And then I remembered when Grace and Mark were at home at Christmas, they'd gone out and, um, and we'd hidden a key for them, like a back door key, because they were obviously going out and coming home later. So I thought, oh, maybe the key is still there. I mean, you know, maybe it's still there. Maybe they put it back in the safe place. So I scrambled to the safe place and lo there it was I tell you what I've never been so grateful to see a key and I got back in the kitchen and um and all was well but it could have been it could have gone very differently that one so that woke me up I tell you and I did put the key back in the safe place so for all you budding burglars it's out there somewhere. Right, here we go. How are we doing with our... This is about all we're going to get done today, isn't it? <laughs> good morning, good morning. Hope, believe, believe. Mandy, good for you. Hope's a good one. Here we go. I'm making this a bit wider today because I, I want to make my, that tubular doodle, I want to make that really wider today. Ta-da! Right, that's that done. How are you getting on? Have you got your, have you got a heart and have you got something inside it? Like so. That's all we need today. You got that? Have a look. See, and when we got that, right, I'm going to just sharpen my eraser pencil. Pink one for pen, pink one for pencil, white one for ink. And I'm just going to get rid now of the of the sketches because now we're going to go for it. So you see, last time when we did the happy or the, you know, when we did the wrap around and we wrapped all the flowers around the, the letters. When we did that, um, we had to put the flowers in first, didn't we? And then we put the letters in behind. Now, this time, I thought what we'd do is, if we have a look, you'll see, what we'll do is we'll keep the words completely blank and we'll make the background make it jump. But at the moment, it's not jumping yet because it's not finished. It's not finished, but it's like everything else. It's not over until it's over. This is a building game and this will keep you amused for hours. If you, it, this is a real lovely, simple doodling project. It's just a building game. 
And it's just something. It's exactly what doodling is all about, really, to my mind. Right. So once you've got this shape down, or a shape, there you go. How are we doing? We got that far? Everybody happy? Everybody? Everybody okay? Right, so what we need now, we're going to go with a pencil again. Okay. And, and what we want to do now is just start. So you see like that one there, if you can, if you have a look at the, think of them as ribbons overlaid on top of one another, like, like bands. See, so this one is the top one, and then there's one under there, that one there, and there's one there, and the, do you see? But you want to just start with one and then the next one, and you just avoid in the words. So let's just do a couple of bands, and then you build it up as you go. It's a building game. So, for example, I could just, and this is so simple, you're just going to do bands across, and there's, there's no right or wrong to this. So let's say, for example, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to come down here like that, and I'm going to avoid that, and I can make a curl on it, or I can make it straight, right? See? So this is going to be my first, this is the front one. As far as I'm concerned, that's the one at the front. And then I'm going to go again. And I'm, I'm really, I'm not, I'm not looking at what I did before. I'm just going to make, actually, I might, that might, might be look a bit weird. I might come down there like that. And then I'm going to come through there like that. Avoid that one, because this is underneath that one. See? So this one's going to come down like that. So that one, and again, because we're doing pencil, this is rubbish, that one, right? Because it looks weird. So you're going to come up there like that, and I'm just going to carry on straight like that. That would be good. Right. And then perhaps I'll do a, let's do a third one. And this one, I'll come across here like so, right? And then I'll come down, and I'll hit that one there. And I'll make this quite a fat one. See, the bigger you make your bands... So this one's going to avoid that one because it's behind that one. There you go. So I've got one, two, three bands. It's just it's like motorways, that like spaghetti junction, you know. And if you, yeah, I think this would be nice. So you've got one, two, three, and then perhaps we'll, let's just do one here. Look, we'll come down there like that. Let's do a thinner one. Come down here, then it carries on to there. So it comes down there, it goes through the D. So you can see it in the middle of the D. And it finishes off there. Cool. So you've got, you've got one there, one there. See how you're building it up already? It's not hard. Look. When you've done that, then the next thing, I would say that'll do for, that'll do for now, right? That'll do. We just need a couple of bands. And then you'll get them in place and then you step back and you look at the progress and then you go right now i'm going to do the next one and then you step back and you do the next one you see so you're building it up and there are some that are really easy and then there are, see it's up to you you could play it safe and you can use one of the doodles that we've already done yeah or i could show you a couple of new ones that are really fast really easy and then you can decide where you want to place them right but let's just let's just what i want to do is show you a little doodle then we'll apply it show you another doodle then we'll add it so you don't go straight to your canvas you have a little play on a bit of scrap and then you and then you put it in place yeah and then that way this is proper doodling now isn't it but pattern doodling okay so let's have a look everybody happy are you all right ian rog cats nice hope Bob. Good. I'm glad to see that you're, you've got good ideas there. So for example, I just to, just to make sure that I know that this is, this is, I'm sticking with the pencil for now, but just to know that this is the, I can do a double line on this. See this one here. And then that one, this is going to become part of that pattern. It just means that I can see that that's definitely that one there. See, I've got, I'm split it up a little bit. So it makes it easier for me. Let's, for example, right, if we, let's do a, one that we're familiar with. 
Let's do one that we're familiar with to get going. So, do you remember yesterday you really liked this? This one is a piece of cake, isn't it? This one here, right? So let's do this one to get comfortable with. And, and I'm going to, again, I'm going to use the ruler and I'm going to, you, you pick which band you want to do. I'm going to do this one here, only because I know that it, it will work well, right? And say, for example, if you look at this ruler, this is, people were asking yesterday, what ruler are you using? So this is a Pergamano ruler and it's got a steel inlay, which is great when you're cutting, right? Because you don't end up embedded in the ruler. It's a centimetre. What I like about it is it's not only giving me the grid this way, but it's giving me the lines that way. So I know that I, I, it's, it keeps it in place for me. And I'll show you how I'm going to use this ruler now to get that, um, to get that lovely cross hatching. So if we want to do, let's start straight, dead straight, right? And I'm going to I'm going to put my light, my first line in there. Right. So that's my first line. And then what I'm going to do is go up half an inch, a centimetre there like that. And then add. See, I've got to show you this. So then this line is on the line that I wrote there. See, so I drew that. Then I'll go to the next one. Then I'll pop the next one in. So I'm doing a centimetre jumps. So I go to that line, I line the line up that I just did with the centimetre, see? Then I go to the next one and there's still enough room for a little tiny one there like that. So that's my, see the half inch, uh, sorry, half inch, these are centimetres. So I turn it round and I'm going to do the same thing going the other way. So we'll go all the way through here, like that, Got that one, see? Just keep lining it up and then there's not there's not one there. Now this is where it gets clever because this would be too big. Look, there wouldn't be many of the uh, crossovers here. So we're going to put the next line in between every time. So what I'm going to do now is I'll take the, the lines on the ruler. I'll drop them down. Right, so now that line's on there and I can do the halfway one. I drop it. See, so I drop it to the next one so I can see where there's a halfway one. Make sure it's straight. Hang on. That's it. And I'll drop it. So we're using the ruler for this, but it's a really easy... If you've got the, a ruler with a grid like this, it's a piece of cake. Right, so you go down again, like that, and we're getting all our half halfway lines in, aren't we? How are we doing? There you go. So what we're doing here... In effect, we're tackling each little band, one thing at a time, and then we're going to build it up. It's, 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 it's as difficult as you want it to be. It's as simple as you want it to be. I'm going to show you a couple of real simple, real simple um, doodles. So this one we did yesterday, but all I'm doing now, right, so I'm using, see the grid on the ruler here? I can use that now to go at a right angle. So now I'm coming in there and then I can go half a centimetre, a centimetre up, see? Go like that and then that one's gone. But now I can come down, right, just turn it round, just keep adding, see? So you do one more like that then you Go up to the centimetre, you avoid the letter. There you go, look. That's it. So I've got that. Now I need to go into the halfway ones, don't I? So I'm just going to use the ruler. Just use the ruler to add the... And what's good about this is, because it's got the, these, the grid on there, it's a piece of cake, because all you've got to do is just line the line up that you've done I don't know if you can see this. Let's have a look on this camera if you can see it better there. You see, so you just line it up on on the the one that you've done. There you go. That'll do. And then on this one, I'm just guessing now. See, so you've got your your cross hatch in there. And then all we've got to do now is add our dots. You see? 
So then, once we've penned this, we're going to go through and we're just going to add our dots. Piece of cake, really. Hmm? Is this enjoyable? Are we doing this? It's a building game. So, let's have a look. Right, doodle. Doodle session. Proper. So we're going to ink this up now. Let's relax. This is not a test. This is not a lesson. This is just a way to get out of our heads and get with our hands. And now we're going to take our ruler lines and we're going to pen them. And we're using a number one pen. You can use a biro, you can use whatever you like. I just happen to be using a number one pen only because it's fatter. Right? So we just go like that. Number one micron pen. And this will do my this will do my doodling perfect. There we go. So and I'm avoiding my letters. There you are. So you've already penned them, so that's easy to avoid. Like so. So I think I've done all the lines that way, and now I'm going to do all the lines coming back the other way. I'm going to lean on my groovy guard. Just lean on anything, lean on a piece of paper. It's only because my hands are a bit hot. Right, and then I'm going to avoid my letter again. There you go. And straight away, when you start doing this, you'll see it come together really nicely. I mean, you know, if you... If you don't want to do, if you don't want to do all that, then you could just do the, the net in the background. Just the whole heart could just be with that. It doesn't, you, you know, you don't have to. Make it so complicated if you don't want to. You're in control of your own doodle. It's about all you are control in control of, I think, at the moment. See? And we're just going to go through. And we're just going to put a little dot on the netting. Doesn't that look lovely? Just go through. There we are. So what we fill our bands or our backgrounds with I mean, we've had nearly three weeks of this now. So we've got loads of different patterns and ideas. And this is just, if you like, this is just um, a vehicle, isn't it? It's just a doodle vehicle. It's like having a doodle bus. And all we're doing now is just using this heart to fill. To doodle. Doesn't that look nice? There you go. Doodle number one. Hmm, I like that one a lot. I find that one very attractive. Let's have a look again at the big heart. So we've done that one. There we are. Cool. That's that one. Put it there. Now what, what else do we want to do? We could put, let me show you, let me show you, let's put one here, right, this one's going to go right through at the back, so I'm going to make it like there, and it'll come through like that, and then it's going to come round the back, so it could go like that, and that'll be there, like that, right, so this is quite a good one, this is, it's a new one. But it's easy. Grab a bit of paper. Now, actually, you could do this straight away. This is a piece of cake, honestly. Think of a parky floor. So you go, you go like that, and then you go like that, and then you go like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. See? Let's come up close, see if you can see it better up close. So you're going to go like that, and then like that. See? You just keep going. 
parquet floor. If, you, if you're not sure, take a bit of paper and just go like that. Because that's all you're doing. Yeah? But you've got edges. You've got edges to work towards. So I've done that one, that one. So then it's this one and then that one and then that one and then that one. And then we get to that line there. So this we're going underneath now. Oh, and then you come back out the other side. So we're just going to pretend now. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to do a few of these, aren't you? We'll do three of them. And now we're coming this way. Now you can see it, see? Bit ropey. But this is going to be so busy, who's going to notice? Okay. There we are. And now we've got our parquet floor. There we go. See, this is run all the way through the bottom. So that's quite nice, isn't it? Easy. Really easy one. Shall I show you another, another easy one? This is another one. Right, have a look at this one. This is lovely. That one there. Am I galloping? Sorry. Tell you what we'll do. We'll link this one in and then we'll do, we'll do that one. We'll do the rainbow one. Okay, because it's quite... It's quite seventies that one. Let's ink this one in, shall we? I'm going to use the number one for this one. Go up here. Okay. So first of all, let's let's ink this one in. So we're going to come down the sides. Let's give ourselves a border. There we go. So we've got something to work towards. Doodle, 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 and then it comes down here. And then it comes down here like so. And then we'll start the parquet floor. Right, you ready? So we're gonna go like that, like that. Once you've penned it, once you've put it in in pencil first, it really, it takes the, Sort of the the stress out of it, really, doesn't it? But I mean, at the end of the day, the whole purpose of this is just to get together. See, I like the fact that I know you're all doing this as well. You know, not just me, is it? There you go. When we put the shadow in, when we do the shading, once we've done all our doodles, it's going to be lovely. That'll do. Good enough. See, you fill it up quite quickly. The thing is, though, it's not a race, is it? There's no... The whole purpose of this is to calm down. The whole, the whole idea here is to chill. Not to, not to impress, not to fail, not be able to do something. It's nothing to do with that. It's just a question of doing really cool patterns. You could take your ruler and you could make a box like a quilt, you know, just a box, and then divide it into nine, nine little boxes. Like you make a square, make nine little boxes, and then in each of those nine boxes, you could do one of the doodles that you really like, your favourite doodles, you know, and then you'd make a quilt. It's the same thing. All we're doing is making a really funky quilt. <laughs> so let's have a look. So I've done that one, and I've done my parquet floor, which I like a lot. And then let's have a look. I want us to try this one. See this one, the zany one with all the... Let's have a look up close. See if we can... Let's tackle this one. Can you believe the time? Look how it flies. See this one here, and it's gone right through there and underneath. Yeah? The... This one. And it went through there, and it went all that bit there, but we avoided that bit. Do you recognise that from the hot air balloon? See, a lot of what I've done here... It's stuff that we've already done. So I think that I'm going to do that that one here. So the way that this works, 
This is cool. We're going to go, let's do, start in the top corner like this. Right, and you're going to go one, two, three, four. That'll do, yeah. And then, and then I'll start in another, another place, like here. It doesn't have to be, I don't know what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five. See, it's not dissimilar to the parquet floor. Then I'm going to go up in that corner. One, two, three, four, five. So that's, you know, you can imagine that's like that. Then I'll come down here because it comes through the D. Hmm? And we're going to go one, two, three. Let's do that like that. And then we're going to get this one going. And we'll, let's put this one, let's just start this one off here. One, two, three, four. That'll do because there's one hidden, see? And then we'll go again. One, two, three, four. That's quite good. We'll do a fifth one there. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. And then we've got one that's going to be there. Right. And then we'll start up here again because it's going down round the back. Five. Look, doesn't it look nicer when you look at it in its entirety? One, two, three, four. I think I'll do one like this. So tomorrow, what we're hoping is that we're going to get this groovy project up and running on Groovy Worldwide for all of you avid parchers. This is quite nice, this one, look. So we're working on getting this digital download sorted, this free digital download and this lovely project. So I'm hoping that we can get the photos sorted out today for you. And then we'll get that launched. I'm still going to have my doodle. I'm still, we're doing our doodle at 10 o'clock. But I'd really like to get the groovy project going for, for our parching friends. And um, something for you to do over the weekend. Because we, we only do it Monday to Friday. Well, officially. And if you're interested in, in the whole um, groovy process and what we're talking about, then I would suggest, I think I'll use the number one for this. I would suggest that you, um, you have a look at the Clarity Stamp YouTube because we brought the, the starting, you know, like the introduction to groovy to the front to show you. I think those of us that do use um, the groovy system, we we are fully, we know how mindful and how therapeutic it is, isn't it? Um, apart from producing lovely artwork, it really does. It does what we're doing here, really, doesn't it? Except it gives you the grooves to go. You haven't got a free, do it freestyle There you go. And the starter kit's on offer because we thought, well, you know what? You're all at home now. And if you thought, you've been thinking, well, I really like the look of that parchment, but I haven't got time. I've got to go to work. I've got the kids. I've got the grandchildren. You know, um, well, now may be a good time. Now may be. Now you've got the time. Now may be the time to get on board with the parchment art. It, 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 it's definitely very addictive. Mind you, so is this. How are you doing? Am I on my own? I get so caught up in this. There you go. Oh, I, didn't, I forgot the edges on this one. This is nice, isn't it, this one? What would you call this? It's like a bit psychedelic, isn't it? Woo-wah. Um, reminds me of the... Oh, hang on, I've lost it there. Reminds me of the 70s. Bit yeah, zany. So there we go. 
And what we're doing is just putting little patterns in. Look, it's so easy, really, isn't it? I do, I do, to be honest, I think I do prefer to, um, to do it in pencil first and then go back over. Only because I can, look, see, I'm changing what I'm doing here. There. So I can change what I'm doing and improve it if it's a little bit off. And then when I've done my, my inking, when I've put my ink lines in, I could do this all day, couldn't you? I don't know if the internet could handle it. But I, I honestly, yesterday evening, I thought, right, what are we going to do for our doodle? What are we doing for day says what we got for tea? And I'm, like, I'm not hungry. I've got to, I've got to sort of doodle out, Dave. He said, "All right, I'll, I'll cook." <laughs> Correct answer. I do love a Dave. Right, Dave is great. So he cooked a brilliant curry, and I doodled. <laughs> so I was I was all chilled at eight o'clock in the evening, having done me me doodle. <laughs> And that it's going to look good though, isn't it? See? And then, now, see what I'm doing is, I'm going to ones that um, we haven't done before, except for that one, we did that one. But like, these are two new ones. So this is a real, see the checker one? That really, that's really good as well. The checker one's really easy. You know, you know how easy that is, don't you? See, but do you want do you want a great big black and white? You know, you've got to kind of think, it's quite dark that one. Do I want that that dark? You know, do I want that? It's it's like, it's, it's all about pattern. See that one's quite nice. See this one? So that's a little bit of a combination of what we just did, isn't it? So for example. Let's have a look. What one should we should we do one more together? Let's do one more. I'm not going to do the tricky one. I can't I can't cope with that. Let's do um let's do the rooftop one. Should we do the rooftop one? Or should we do one because you know how to do that? Let's do one that we haven't done before. Let's do the checker. Let's do the checker. Right, which is where I was going to go. And then I thought, oh, it's too dark. But what about if I want to do a checker, but I don't want it too extreme. Like I don't want to go black and white all the way through there. So I'm going to put another line in and it's going like that, like that, down here. So you just build them up, don't you? And I don't want it to be too thick because, mind you, with a checker, you could make it as thick as you like, couldn't you? Right, here we go. You could be doing this all day, you know. What one am I using? The number one, number one, okay? And I don't think I, I, should I be bold? I'm gonna spoil this. I'm gonna do it with pencil first. <laughs> I wanna relax, I'm supposed to be, this is supposed to be zen. Right, checker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, right, lines. Ruler, should we try the ruler? Yeah, cause it's pretty straight-ish. Let's just use the ruler only because it just is, look, is it cheating? Well, I can cope with it if you can. Right. Oh, yeah, this is much easier. Look, why, why put yourself through that? <laughs> what would that be for? Right. There you go. Ruler. That one's right ropey. Look at that. See? That'll do. Okay. Good enough. Yeah. Do you know what you could do as well? I just had a thought. Would look lovely if it had, if you had a musician, if you, oh, Dave, like, you could do guitar strings or musical notes. Should we do that next week? Now, this is cool because I've got my straight lines that I've done there. And now I can use my ruler with the grid. Sounds like I'm trying to flog you a ruler now. Well, I am. There you go. Pergamano ruler. 
get one. It's brilliant. <laughs> the point is, it is brilliant. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using it. It's got, because of the grids here, I can line them up with my lines and then I know that it's going to be ex perpendicular, I think is the word I'm looking for. Right, see? So it's at a complete right angle. See? Isn't that cool? See? So you can line it up like this or you could you could go by... Yeah, piece of cake now, look. Come down the other side. How are we doing? Is anyone still in the building? I'm oblivious here. This is a lot easier, isn't it, then? Do you find this easier? Oh, Barbara. Easier. Right. See, this has got... Do you see this gear on here? This is called... Look. That's why it's not sliding around, because I've put the groovy grip on it. We've got all the gear, haven't we? See, so what happens is you go like that and you're sliding around. When you press, you stop. And that's what the groove... I had to laugh the other day. Was it yesterday? One of, um, one of our doodle friends, her husband, he was doodling along too. <laughs> okay, get this. So he's doodling along. And she's really happy because he's doodling along. And then he comes in and he, he thought he was doing her a favour. Right? <laughs> he says... He said, there was something weird on the back of your ruler, pet. So I, I got rid of it and I slung it in the bin. So, so her precious groovy grip that she's gone to great lengths to buy, purchase, and put on her ruler so that she doesn't slide around. <laughs> her husband's come in and and decided that it was part of the packaging and slung it away. <laughs> and her only question was, shall I let him back in the craft room? Which I thought was highly amusing. So, yeah. Pergamano ruler. Pergamano ruler and groovy grip. Don't throw this bit away, right? <laughs> How are we doing for time? <gasps> you won't believe that we've been doing this for nearly an hour now. Come on, let's do the checker one. And then we'll call it a day. We could do this. Oh, we could do this for a week. But we, well, we could do this for a week. I am going to get the colouring postcards out though. But we could we could mix it up a bit. Come back to this. Go to the colouring postcards. Have you got your colouring postcards yet? Have you got your colouring pencils yet? Mm, just saying. Right. Let's have a look at this. And this is where. Right. Let's have a look. And then and then we'll finish. On this one we'll call this one a day but let's do it together because this is so zen right so we're gonna go right now you've got to decide what you want to color in so I would say we'll do the outline first and this is where we can go freehand even though we used our ruler for the lines of course we did there you go that one too hard right let's come to the <laughs> because I, I do read all your comments afterwards I do and I could feel a little bit of frustration coming in um, a little bit of this is too much for me and I thought and I get that you know because I don't this isn't this isn't a course in Zen Tangle this is a doodle session trying to get us all together to stop us worrying about being stuck in the middle of a gruesome pandemic and and the last thing I want to do is add to your stresses by giving you things that are too challenging on the one hand I know we want to be stretched but on the other hand I think we also we just want to chill don't we so so please don't don't stress over this do what you feel comfortable with that's all you've got to do just do what you feel comfortable with and if 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 I do something and it's proving too challenging or it's, it's making you uncomfortable and don't worry about it. You haven't failed. 
I tell you what, I try to do... The, let me make sure this is right. All right, every other one. I try to do this pattern. And I thought, I'm going to lose my marbles over this one. I've got to show you it, though, because it was really getting on my pit. So all the, all the people who like a challenge are going to go, oh, I can do that. I can do that one. I can do it. Well, good. Good for you. See that one there? I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my, my, my marbles, I said. <laughs> I can't think of another word. I'm going to lose my mind, that's what I was going to say, over this one here. I thought, how can, how can this be so difficult to do this blinking swirly thing, right? Let me show you. Look, this is Barbara at her best. So, yeah, as I was saying, there are no, there are no experts in the building. Right, I managed to get it and then I thought, no, I'm not even going to show you that one. I'm not going to ex try to get you to do it because I thought, this is really stupid. Why am I even bothering with this one? It's not, it's not making me feel any better. It's making me feel worse. And I think at this stage, the whole trick here is to clear your mind. and get you to relax, isn't it? Hang out together with a load of mates. This is lovely, this one. You could probably use one of the bigger pens, the bigger pens, you know the ones in the, what have I got here? I've got number one. Number one fits all really, doesn't it? It's like a one sizer. Now I've got number two. What else have I got here? Eight, that's a bit savage. I must have something a bit in between. Try the number three, let's try the number three. That might. Oh yeah, okay, that's a bit faster. All right, well, there's a reason why they've got all these different thicknesses, isn't there? Look, here we go. Bish, bosh, bish. So what I'm doing here, it's like a checker. Black, white, black, white. Doesn't matter if it doesn't fit. So it's up to you. How do you, how do you like to check her? Do you check her across? Do you check her that way? And then that way? I'll tell you what I do know, as simple as this is, Take my arm out of the way. As simple as this is, you've still got to concentrate, haven't you? I mean, what are the chances of getting this wrong? Quite good. I've got a 50-50 chance here. Is it black or is it white? Oh. There you go. Do you know what? This works. This blimmin. Doesn't that look nice? And all we've got to think about is that bit. I'm not going to worry about any of the other pieces. I'm just worry. I'm not worrying about anything. All I'm doing is colouring in. There you go. Cut across. And there'll be people out there now, some of you, who are having a really rough time, you know, and you're struggling, you're struggling being alone, you're worrying, you're projecting, you're freaking out. And you know what? I understand. We all do. We, you know, you're on your own, you're isolated. And if picking up a piece of paper and a pen and doing a doodle like this, just that. If that helps you, just gives you that 15 minutes or half hour of relief, that release from fear, then do you know what? There's a job done well. And when we look at this now, you see, it's, it's, just, it's just a doodle. It's, this is the quintessence of doodling, isn't it? And there are different patterns. I mean, there's a whole industry being built around this. It's called Zentangle. Look it up. It's everywhere. You know, I've been doodling since I was a kid. And uh, you just make lovely patterns. Um, so when we look at this, we can see that we're building up the stripes. We're building up the layers. But if you don't want to do that, it's like I say, draw a heart, fill it in with that one. Draw another heart, fill it in with that one. Do a load of hearts behind each other. The key is to just letting go 
and then just building, you know, just building up patterns and take a scrap of paper and try it, see if you like it, see where do you think it would go. And all the time you're building and planning and looking and chilling and relaxing. You know what you're not doing? You're not worrying. And that's what this is all about. Okay. So this is where we're headed. And it's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you whether you, you go forward. And, you know, it would be great if we could get together and you've done the background. And what I'll do is I'll post a picture of mine. You don't need to copy mine, but I think sometimes I think it's good if you've just got a little bit of direction. You know, some of us just need a little bit of guidance. Like, oh, yeah, I could use that pattern. And, oh, of course, that one would be nice. And let's try that one. Do you know what? And if you and if you want new patterns, Google them. There is a world of doodles out there. We didn't invent it. OK, all we're doing is using it to get out of our heads and get with our hands. That's it. So so that's all for today from the Shack Shack. Tomorrow I'll come back to this and uh, and tomorrow we'll do the shading together. Tomorrow we'll do see how you got on. But I, I'm not going to do any shading until tomorrow. And then we'll see how we can get the, the dimension going, you know, get that optical illusion of depth. We'll give that a go. All right. And we'll do a couple more patterns if you fancy. But I think it's all about just calming down and getting your pencils and your pen and just having a little. I'll tell you which one, if you if you get time. Right. The one that we didn't even look at. Look, just I know I'm going on now. See this one around the outside. The one that we did that we did when we did the the the, the shack shack. Do you remember when we did the house that Jack built? Hang on. Where is it? Ah, uh, Come on, Gray. There. Do you remember that one? Do that. And if you if you're not familiar with that one, just go back to the Shack Shack folder and find the house that Jack built, that one, and that will show you how we did this piece of cake. And then maybe you could do that one before we get back together tomorrow. Fancy that for homework? That'd be nice. We've all done it once and there's already a little, a little how-to. I don't know which one though, sorry, so you'll have to go back and watch them all. <laughs> okay, right. So that's all from the Shack Shack. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed that. Can you believe that was a, over an hour? Over an hour. I feel so zen now. Right, ready? Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Be safe. And I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. And, uh, and thanks for joining me. Bye-bye now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay.